Hello, lovelies, and welcome to Toka's Tales. In this episode, we continue Bruce's feminization journey into Bianca, witnessing the challenges and revelations of each step in her transformative path. Sounds interesting. Let's dive into this captivating tale together. But first, make sure to check out femdoll.com for more stories and cross-dressing content. Helen's announcement that they were heading to the city sent a wave of apprehension through Bianca. The thought of stepping out into the broader world in her current state filled her with a sense of vulnerability. Are we going like this? No makeup or hairstyle? Bianca asked, her voice tinged with fear. Lily and Emma chuckled, noticing her concern. Looks like someone's getting used to being Bianca, Lily teased, her eyes sparkling with amusement. Emma added playfully, Who would have thought? Bianca, the fashionista, worried about her look. Helen, sensing Bianca's growing unease, reassured her with a gentle smile. You don't need to worry about makeup or hair right now. Everything will be taken care of soon enough, she said, her words cryptic, but soothing. Bianca felt a mix of confusion and curiosity at Helen's words. The idea of venturing into the city, potentially as Bianca, without the full armor of her new persona's appearance was daunting. Yet, Helen's assurance that it would be sorted out soon hinted at further plans for the day, plans that Bianca could only guess at. As they prepared to leave, Bianca's mind was abuzz with questions. What did Helen mean? What did the day hold in store for her? Each step she took was heavy with both trepidation and a strange sense of anticipation. This journey, which had begun as a playful exploration, was taking turns she could never have anticipated. Bianca couldn't help but wonder how these new experiences would continue to shape her understanding of herself, both as Bruce and as Bianca. As they drove towards their destination, Bianca's nerves began to fray. Lily and Emma's light-hearted chatter in the car did little to ease her growing anxiety. When they pulled up in front of Sakura Beauty Salon, Bianca's heart pounded in her chest. The elegant sign and the chic exterior of the salon spoke of a world of beauty and transformation she had only just begun to explore. What am I getting into? Bianca thought, her mind racing with possibilities and uncertainties. Inside, a lady greeted them warmly. Welcome. We have the full package arranged for Bianca, she said with a professional smile. Bianca's apprehension grew. The term full package was both vague and ominous, leaving her imagination to run wild with what it could entail. As they were led deeper into the salon, the lady announced, Miranda will be taking care of you today. They arrived at a separate room, where a beautiful, curvy lady in her late thirties stood waiting. Miranda's presence was both reassuring and intimidating. Her confident demeanor and obvious expertise in beauty made Bianca even more conscious of her own novice status in this world. Bianca's thoughts were a whirlwind as she took in her surroundings. The room was a sanctuary of beauty, with mirrors, beauty products, and chic decor. What does the full package mean? How far is this transformation going to go? She wondered, her heart fluttering with a mix of fear and excitement. The experience of being in a beauty salon under the guidance of someone as poised and professional as Miranda was a new level of immersion into Bianca's persona. It was a step beyond dressing up at the farmhouse. This was a deliberate crafting of her appearance in a public, professional setting. As Miranda approached with a welcoming smile, Bianca braced herself for the unknown. This day was set to be another significant chapter in her journey, one that promised to deepen her exploration of Bianca's identity and her understanding of herself. Miranda glanced at her records, and then back at Bianca with a hint of confusion. So, the appointment is under Bruce, but I heard you being called Bianca, she noted, a curious tilt to her head. Bianca's cheeks flushed with embarrassment. She stumbled over her words, trying to explain the situation. Well, yes, I'm... I'm Bruce, but today I'm... Bianca, she managed to get out, feeling a mixture of vulnerability and awkwardness. Miranda's expression shifted from curiosity to amusement. Ah, I see... It's been a while since I've had such an interesting case, she said with a chuckle. She guided Bianca to the chair, gently easing her down. Miranda, with a professional yet gentle touch, began prepping Bianca for the treatment. We're starting with laser hair removal. It's the first step in your transformation today, she explained, her tone reassuring yet matter-of-fact. Bianca's anxiety peaked as Miranda casually mentioned, you're booked for a Brazilian bikini treatment as well. The words sent a ripple of shock through Bianca. The reality of undergoing such an intimate procedure 
particularly under the guise of Bianca, was overwhelming. Her heart raced with a mix of fear and uncertainty. I... Are you sure? I didn't know that was part of the plan, Bianca stammered, her voice betraying her inner turmoil. The idea of such a personal transformation was daunting, pushing the boundaries of her comfort zone far more than she had anticipated. Miranda, sensing Bianca's discomfort, paused and offered a comforting smile. It's all part of the process, but we only proceed with what you're comfortable with. It's about making you feel confident and beautiful in your skin, she reassured her. Bianca took a deep breath trying to steady her racing thoughts. This was more than just a physical change. It was a significant step in her journey into Bianca's world. She was at a crossroads, deciding how far she was willing to go in exploring this new aspect of herself. Bianca's voice trembled slightly as she asked, What exactly is a Brazilian treatment? The question hung in the air, her embarrassment evident in the way she avoided Miranda's gaze. Miranda responded with a tone of understanding. A Brazilian bikini treatment is a form of laser hair removal for the entire bikini area. It's quite popular and effective for achieving a smooth, clean look. She paused, giving Bianca a moment to process the information. It's completely normal to feel a bit nervous about it, especially your first time. We're here to make sure you feel comfortable and cared for throughout the process. Bianca nodded slowly, her mind racing with thoughts and emotions. She knew this was a significant step in her transformation a physical change that symbolized so much more. Yet the intimacy and finality of the procedure made her heart flutter with a complex mix of anticipation and apprehension. With a hesitant voice, she asked, Do I need to undress completely for this? The question was laced with vulnerability, reflecting her apprehension about the level of exposure required for the treatment. Miranda sensed Bianca's discomfort and quickly sought to reassure her. No, you don't need to undress completely. You'll have a privacy cloth to cover yourself, and we only uncover the area we're working on at any given time. She explained with a gentle tone. Miranda's professionalism shone through, aimed at providing Bianca with a sense of dignity and respect. We prioritize your comfort and privacy here, Miranda continued, offering Bianca a comforting smile. We've done this many times, and our goal is to make the experience as easy and stress-free for you as possible. Bianca's anxiety eased slightly with Miranda's words, feeling a bit more at ease about the procedure. The journey she was on was challenging, but Miranda's kindness and understanding made it feel a little less daunting. Bianca took a deep breath, nodding her acknowledgement and readiness to proceed. After a moment of contemplation, Bianca nodded slowly. Okay, let's do it, she said, a fragile determination in her voice. She was committing not just to the physical aspect of the transformation— but to embracing the experience of becoming Bianca in its entirety. After Bianca gave her hesitant agreement, Miranda nodded understandingly. Before we begin the laser treatment, we'll need to shave off any remaining body hair to ensure the process is effective and smooth, she explained. Miranda's approach was professional and reassuring, helping to ease Bianca's nerves. She fetched a fresh razor and shaving gel, preparing Bianca for this necessary step in the process. As Miranda gently began to shave the remaining areas, Bianca felt a wave of vulnerability, but also a sense of trust in Miranda's expertise. The act of shaving, so simple, yet so intimate, was another layer of Bianca's transformation. It was a physical preparation for the laser treatment, but symbolically, it felt like shedding another part of Bruce, making room for Bianca's emergence. Bianca lay there, the sound of the razor and the sensation of the shaving gel almost meditative, each stroke taking her further along her journey of transformation. As Miranda began the procedure, Bianca focused on the sensation, each pulse of the laser a reminder of the journey she had embarked on. This was not just about altering her appearance, it was about exploring and accepting a part of her identity that had been hidden away. With each passing moment, Bianca felt a mixture of empowerment and vulnerability, stepping further into the uncharted territory of her own self-discovery. Sensing an opportunity for conversation, Miranda's curiosity about Bianca's transformation came to the fore. So, how did this all start for you? Miranda asked, her tone light but genuinely interested as she worked. Bianca, momentarily distracted from the procedure, began to share her story. It actually began as a bit of a joke with my cousins, she explained, a small smile playing on her lips. One thing led to another, and here I am. 
Miranda listened attentively, carefully adjusting the laser settings as Bianca continued. I'm on a gap year right now, trying to figure out what I want for the future. This experience, it's been eye-opening in ways I didn't expect. I'm still uncertain about a lot, but it's been a journey of self-discovery. The conversation flowed naturally, with Miranda nodding in understanding. It's fascinating how life brings us these unexpected paths. Embracing them can often teach us so much about ourselves, she commented, her hands steady as she continued the treatment. Bianca found Miranda's interest comforting, making the process feel more like a shared experience rather than just a clinical procedure. The discussion about her gap year and the uncertainties of her future, interwoven with her current journey of exploration as Bianca, brought a sense of perspective. It wasn't just about the here and now, it was about how this experience would shape her choices and her identity going forward. As the session continued, Bianca felt a growing sense of gratitude for this unexpected chapter in her life. Each pulse of the laser, each shared word with Miranda, was a step in her journey of understanding, not just about her identity as Bianca, but about herself as a whole. Bianca was beginning to see that this journey was about more than just self-expression. It was about the courage to face the unknown and the potential for growth that it held. Do you wish to leave a landing strip, or would you prefer to go completely bare? Miranda asked, breaking the silence. The question caught Bianca off guard, forcing her to consider the decision from a whole new perspective. She was not only exploring a part of herself she had not known existed, but also the nuances and details of it. I'm not sure, Bianca said, her voice wavering. She was overwhelmed by the options, the reality of her choice hitting her like a bucket of ice water. Miranda, sensing her hesitation, gently guided her through the decision-making process. It's completely up to you, and whatever you choose will be beautiful. If you're looking for some inspiration, the landing strip is a classic and very attractive. It's a good compromise if you're not quite ready to commit to going completely bare. Bianca listened carefully, her mind whirring as she considered the options. It was a delicate balance, the choice between her own desires and her comfort level. In the end, Bianca chose the classic landing strip, a compromise between her own exploration and the practicalities of maintaining the look. As the treatment came to an end, Miranda offered a few final words of advice and encouragement. This is a big step, but it's an important one. It's about learning to love and appreciate your body and all the things it's capable of. Remember, there's no rush, and the journey is yours to take at your own pace. With a deep breath, Bianca nodded in gratitude. Thank you, Miranda, for helping me through this. I really appreciate it. Her voice was sincere, carrying the weight of her experiences and discoveries. Miranda gave her a warm smile. It's been my pleasure. It's not every day that I get to be a part of something so special and unique. You're a brave young lady, and I hope you find everything you're looking for on this journey. Her words, filled with understanding and compassion, left a lasting impression on Bianca. Miranda had been more than just a beautician. She had been a guide and a confidant, helping Bianca navigate the complexities and emotions of her transformation. Anyway, one down, but still a few more treatments to go, Miranda said, lightening the mood. The next one is a manicure and pedicure, followed by a massage, then ear and navel piercings. Bianca's heart skipped a beat at the mention of piercings. This was just the latest in a series of revelations and choices, all of which were taking her down an increasingly unfamiliar path. Yet beneath the apprehension, Bianca also felt a growing sense of empowerment and liberation. She was taking control of her identity and her expression, choosing what felt right and true for her. She started the procedure with a sense of curiosity, but now, the deeper exploration was bringing a greater sense of purpose and understanding. With each new treatment and procedure, Bianca felt a growing sense of connection and self-awareness. She was rediscovering a side of herself that had been hidden away, a part of her identity that had remained dormant. She was beginning to see that this wasn't just about her appearance, it was about her inner landscape, her sense of self, and the choices she made to define who she was. We'll finish up with a touch of makeup and hairstyling, and then we'll be done, Miranda added. How does that sound? Bianca felt a tingle of excitement, a mix of trepidation and exhilaration. This was her chance to embrace the full Bianca persona, a chance to explore and express the multifaceted layers of her identity. When she first stepped into the salon, 
The idea of the full package had seemed daunting. But now, as the treatments and procedures unfolded, she was eager to see where it would lead. Each step in her journey as Bianca had been an opportunity to explore a deeper aspect of her identity. The physical changes and the choices she had made, though challenging, had also brought a sense of clarity and purpose. Bianca was embarking on a journey of self-discovery, and she was eager to see what the future held. Let's do this, Bianca said, her voice steady and resolute. She was ready to embrace the next stage of her transformation. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel, leaving a like and comment, and make sure to visit femdoll.com for more.